It's 15 strange trees that you didn't know existed. This particular tree is native to many parts of South America. It is certainly a strange looking specimen and unlike many other fruit bearing trees, the fruit of this tree grows along its trunk and not exclusively on its branches. This gives the tree a uniquely odd appearance that looks like as if bulbous black balls are just stuck all over it. The fruit that covers the tree is actually quite sweet and is actually a large berry and it shares the name with the tree, Jabuticaba. These small trees don't even look like trees at first glance. They look more like cacti, but they are trees nonetheless. They grow exclusively in Baja, California and other parts of Mexico's Sonoran Desert. It has a tiny population and is considered endemic to this area. The most peculiar thing about this tree is its windswept shape that makes it look as if it's blowing in the wind. The rainbow eucalyptus is an exceptionally beautiful species that has a wide natural growth range. It is naturally from New Britain, New Guinea, Saram, Sulawesi, and Mindanao. The multicolored bark that it boasts is something unique to this species of tree, and it is arguably the most notable feature. It is a highly coveted tree by people around the world for its natural beauty, and therefore it has spread to many parts of the world that can support it. It requires frequent rainfall to be healthy as it grows in a naturally tropical environment. The tree shown in this picture is an exceptionally beautiful wisteria tree that is native to Japan. The one shown in the image is over 400 years old and is heavily protected. These trees are most notable for their beautiful flowering, akin to the other Japanese trees such as the cherry blossom. These trees are popular for their ornamental qualities and cousins of the Japanese wisteria are grown naturally in the eastern United States, China, and Korea. The Japanese maple tree is another excellent example of Japanese trees and their wondrous hues. These are incredibly popular trees and they are grown by arboriculturists all over the world. It's a small tree that rarely surpasses a height of 25 feet. It produces many beautiful flowers that come out in a wide range of colors, just as the tree's leaves do. The modern version of this plant features some genetic modifications through human influence, and they can grow in many different shapes and postures. This tree is a beautiful example of how far human influence can go in the world of plants. This tree grows in wet areas of the world and is native to southeastern Australia, where its natural realm is not far from the southern pole. This means that this tree lives in particularly cold environments. The image shown shows one of these trees covered in vines. These trees thrive in wet environments and has been previously mentioned, and therefore many arboriculturists take these plants to the east coast of the United States and the United Kingdom. These trees are native to southeastern United States, and they are beautiful examples of how southern trees can be in nature. The largest of these trees is called the Angel Oak, located in South Carolina, and the majority of these trees are found in the Deep South. There are many cousins to this tree that are also spread about the South, but none of them grow the way these live oaks can do, and none of them have the beauty or durability of them. They have many different names, such as the Virginia Live Oak, Bay Live Oak, or Plateau oak. Overall, this is one of the most beautiful trees that grow in the southern United States. These particular trees are very odd looking, and of the nine species that exist, six of them are only found on the island of Madagascar. The others are located in mainland Africa, and all of these trees are very unique. Their odd shape, with a thick trunk and small bushel of leaves on top, make them a favorite of arboriculturists around the world. The African variety of these trees are located on savannas, and large ecosystems are built around them by the animals native to the area. They are crucial trees in Africa and are found very frequently on Madagascar, where even more species use this jungle variety of boabab to build their homes. This tiny tree is called the bottle tree, and it is native to southern Africa. It is small and grows small seasonal flowers on little branches that protrude from it. Despite its small and cute appearance, it is actually quite deadly. Local native tribes actually use this tree to add a poison tip to their arrows for hunting, as the alkaloids this tree produces are very toxic. It is primarily located in Namibia and Angola, where the environment is not entirely desert, but it is considered a semi-desert region, featuring more 
more greenery than the average desert region. These trees are truly a sight to behold. They stand immensely tall, and their roots are almost entirely above ground, giving them an ancient and weathered look. The tree in this picture is located in the Ta Pram Temple in Angkor, Cambodia. This tree produces precisely what you think it would, cotton, or at least a cotton-like substance known as kapok fiber. It is grown all over the world, and it is not native to Cambodia by any means. It is native to Asia as a whole and is a very commonly grown tree. These trees grew to be quite massive at 230 feet tall and 9.8 feet in diameter. They are a very versatile and useful tree. The name of this tree literally means juniper tree in Spanish, and they are native to the country of Spain. These trees form in this unique bent fashion due to the high winds in the area which they are native. They are a particularly beautiful tree that takes on an even more impressive form as it grows and is modeled by the winds. Most people don't know that cashews are actually grown on trees that are native to northeastern Brazil. These trees are a type of evergreen that produces a highly toxic fruit. The seed of that fruit is a cashew. You're probably saying to yourself, but a cashew is not a seed, it's a nut. Well, if you thought that, you'd be wrong. The cashew is the seed of a tree that produces a highly poisonous fruit. Fortunately for cashew lovers, the seed itself is absolutely harmless. This was thought to be an extinct tree, and the only remnants of its kind are still remain on Earth intact today were petrified memories of a few living examples in Wallamy National Park in Australia. It is not really a type of pine tree, and it's not even in the pine family. It is actually in the family called Aracariceae. Until 1994, when living specimens of these trees were found in Australia, they were thought to be extinct, and the oldest fossil records of one dated back over 200 million years ago, back when the dinosaurs still roamed the earth. The dragon blood tree is a fascinating example of nature. Its name comes from the red sap that is held within the veins of the tree. It is native to Socotra Archipelago in the Arabian Sea. It is a tall umbrella-shaped tree that is a close cousin to the palm tree. Sometimes their appearance can be quite odd. For example, you may see one of these umbrella trees, but it would look like the umbrella has been flipped inside out. It has many crisscrossing branches that form the broad canopy of leaves that spread across the top. This tree also produces a type of red berry that provides the same kind of sap as the tree itself. And now for number one. But first, be sure to subscribe for new videos every day. Now this tree deserves the number one spot on this list because it is the rarest tree on the entire list. There is only one of these trees left in the world and that makes it beyond endangered. The last of its species is a female tree and it will never have the chance to reproduce. The lone survivor of these species grows on the Three Kings Island in New Zealand and it is highly protected. Other than its extreme rarity, it does not boast anything particularly unique. However, being the last of its kind makes it valuable beyond measure, and the human race should feel responsible for its safety and upkeep, as the government of New Zealand has shown.